Welcome everyone into Life in Focus podcast today. Thank you for joining us for our devotion time today. You know, in this world in which we live in, there's always something that kind of can uh, distract us or get us off balance when we think about the beauty of life and, and how to enjoy life and just how to get the most out of life. And what God's Word bears out that I love uh, and that I really take peace, joy, and comfort in is that no matter what is going on in my life, no matter how dark it may seem, no matter how troublesome it is to me, there's always a better day coming. There's always a brighter day ahead of me because God has promised me that this world is not the world I need to be focused on. I need to be focused on the the things that he has uh, for me to look forward to each and every day. And I, I'm a firm believer, and you, you've heard it here on our devotion times over and over. If you ever heard me preach, I preach a lot on focus and position because uh, in the Bible from Genesis to Revelations, that's what it's all about. It's about keeping your focus and always realizing what position you're in spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically because it has a great impact on how you view the world, how you view yourself, and more importantly, how you view your relationship with God and how He desires to use you to affect other people's lives in a positive way. So in Romans chapter 8 this morning, the Bible bears out that there's always a better day to look forward to. And listen to verse 16 through 18 of Romans chapter 8 this morning. It says, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so, that we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. Now listen to verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. That's a powerful, powerful uh, three verses there. And the reason why uh, God brings that to our attention today is there are many things that we do not really understand about the end of our life or the end of the world for that matter. But God has given us all the assurance we need that in order to have a joyful expectation-type life, we need to look forward to that better and brighter day. Paul knew enough about what was going on right then to say, I reckon. That's a term. That's actually an accounting term. And what it means is that he had taken careful inventory, he had done all the calculations, and he come to the careful and reliable conclusion. And what Paul was comparing was the sufferings of this time, which he had personal knowledge of, and the glory to come for every believer in Jesus Christ. And it seems here that as Paul added up the multitude of his trials, heartaches, losses, and sorrows of this world, and he considered all of that in relationship to the glory that God has promised us that was to come, he came to a very good conclusion. They don't even need to be compared because the amount of the one far outweighs the other. So this morning, any of you who have experienced even a fraction of the pain that this world holds and causes, I hope you find the same conclusion because we cannot conceive a joy and a happiness that is so deep a pleasure that is so complete a glory that is so glorious that our grief that we have here on earth can be just swallowed up in it this morning God does not ask us to be able to understand that right now but church that's what our faith is for Our faith is not built on looking at our current circumstances. Our faith is built when we look forward to a brighter day, a better day, a heaven that awaits us, 
a glory that awaits us, a crown of righteousness that awaits us, and more importantly today, a Savior who is waiting with arms wide open, ready to receive us into that place that He says that there is coming a day when there will be no more tears, there will be no more heartache, no more pain, There'll be no more separation from those that we love. There's coming a better day, a brighter day, a day which the Lord has fixed and created for us to look forward to. So today I want to pray for you as you don't get swallowed up in your current circumstances that the enemy doesn't blind you to the beauty of what really is going on in your life. Because sometimes, if we're not careful, we can get so blinded by our current situation that we don't see the beauty of what really is. To dwell on the possibilities of what might have been and what could have been is to miss the beauty of what really is. So today you be safe, you be strong, and you be blessed. And you look forward, forward to that better day that the Lord has prepared for you. Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, I sure hope you have a great day, a better day. God bless you.